here! Out! You! How could you let this happen here? This is a house of prayer! You have no right to defile this place! You! Out! Out! Take off! I can't believe you would do this! Oh! It's outrageous. The man's a lunatic. Worse than that, he's a blasphemer. He said this temple is his house. I say he should be arrested. Arrest him now? Just look at those people. They adore that Jesus. If we arrest him now, it could cause a riot. No. First, we must discredit him. Trip him up somehow. Yes, we must trap him yes. with his own words. <laughs> Something must be done. Something must be done. Something must be done soon. Something must be done. Something must be done soon. This Jesus of Nazareth is stirring up the people. Again, it must be done. It must be done. This blaspheming deceiver will bring the wrath of Rome down upon Something us. Must be done. Something must be done. And soon. We must tell Caiaphas. We must pray the way to Caiaphas. The high priest Caiaphas. We'll know just what to do. He'll deal with it discreetly. He'll handle it completely. <laughs> the high priest Pivus will know just what to do. Something must be done. Something must be done soon. Something must be done. Something must be done. And <laughs> Of course, you're absolutely right. Something must be done about that Jesus of Nazareth. Our coexistence with those Roman heathen is fragile enough without having some foolish rabble-rouser stirring up the people. Must deal with this man in the most finite manner. After all, it's better to have one man die for the people than to have the entire nation perish. Caiaphas, perhaps we could run him out of the city before the Passover begins. And how do you propose to do that? How do you take a man with hundreds, maybe thousands of followers, and simply run him out of the city? Ah, it's not that simple. Efforts to discredit him have all failed. His popularity is growing daily. At our expense, I might add. No, you don't just chase away a man like Jesus. He will only return, and our problem will return with him. Gentlemen, our solution, our solution must be permanent. We need a reason, a plausible reason, to have Jesus arrested. You must be creative about this. But more important than that, we need to, ter to determine the proper time and the place for his arrest. Someplace private, away from the eyes and ears of his adoring public. <laughs> and to that end, gentlemen, to that end, I offer you the services of this man. <laughs> Gentlemen, I would like you all to meet Judas Iscariot. He has agreed, uh, for a price, to turn his master Jesus over to us tomorrow evening in some out-of-the-way place. <laughs> all we need now are a few convincing witnesses and a little cooperation from our friend Pontius Pilate. If all goes well, 
If all goes well, we could have Jesus of Nazareth tried, convicted, and executed before the Passover begins. <laughs> ah, yes. Well then, gentlemen, good night and sleep well. <laughs> Tomorrow promises to be a very busy day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Malchus. Pay the man. <laughs> <laughs>